Hey, today we want to share with you an update. Uh, this is an idea from a user. Uh, you know, with this uh, user, we were chatting about uh, his website. He has a, a beautiful art uh, gallery online, and he was wondering how to track users who click on the WhatsApp widget with uh, Facebook. So this is just to, to explain, to, this is just to share and explain that uh, this is something you can do with our uh, WordPress plugin and our uh, widget. The widget works everywhere, uh, Joomla, PrestaShop, you name it. Uh, and the WordPress plugin is just for WordPress, but you know, has some special features for WordPress, so it's kind of neat. So you can use either uh, either solution. I mean, you can use the WordPress plugin or the WhatsApp widget, and you will have the events in Facebook. Uh, what that means? That means when you go to your Facebook panel, you will see the events, I mean, the tracking of events that happens with your uh, WhatsApp widget. Just to be clear, if someone clicks here, you will have an event in Facebook. What you can do after that? You can build an audience based on that event. You can build a retargeting for those users, users who click on your WhatsApp widget. So you can have a simple website, complicated website, e-commerce, you name it. You can have a website as you need it, as you want it. Uh, you can have the WhatsApp, the WhatsApp widget here, and you can track every user who clicks on the widget. So the moment I click here, this uh, creates an event on your website. And uh, the beautiful thing is that they don't need to start a conversation with you. Uh, the moment they click, you have that user. You capture the user. So you can retarget, you can send ads, you can create a campaign for that user. So, you know, this is very good. I think it's something you need to uh, try, do, set up, and, you know, start working with it. Because, you know, this is going to be good for you is going to make, uh, is going to help you, you know, build an audience, is going to help you understand who the user is and how the user is, you know, using your website. So this is very important, I think, in general. Uh, with our uh, WordPress plugin, I mean, to configure this, you need to do two things. Uh, one is in your website, you need to have the uh, Facebook pixel. Uh, this uh, you can do it, you know, by code uh, directly. Uh, if you go to your header, you can uh, just uh, put here the face the Facebook pixel. That's it. You put here the code. To create this, you need to have a Facebook account. You need to have a, a an ad, a, I think, account or something like that. And you know, you need to conf you need to create the Facebook pixel. It's very easy. I was able to do it, so you can do it. So you have your Facebook pixel here, and uh, what you need to do then is you go to the plugin, to the I mean, to this is our plugin. You go to Facebook Analytics, and here you can, you know, like activate the the pixel, and you can add the name you want to to use to track. You know, I you know chat chat started, uh, support uh, whatever you can add whatever you need to to do. So this is going to send information to Facebook. So you are going to know who is clicking on your uh, widget. The same with Google Analytics. You know, we have the same kind of uh, setup. You can send events to uh, Google Analytics. The same, you want to track the user, you want to know who is clicking in your widget, you want to know who is the user who goes to the site and click on that button, even if they don't start a conversation. So this is, this is a way to measure 
you know, how many hits you have. Then you have conversations, but that's another step in the process. I mean, this is just to make things clear. If the user clicks on the button, that doesn't mean he starts a conversation with you. You know, I can just, you know, stop here and I, I don't send the content. I don't send my, my first message, you know. I want to know who you are. I want to check your profile. That's the reason we always uh, say about uh, your business profile. Your business, your business profile is very important, you know, so make it professional. If I want to chat with you, I want to be sure who you are. You know, for example, this user, the art gallery guy, you know, beautiful photo. This is a fantastic photo beautiful business profile and the catalog the catalog is just fantastic so you know make your business profile professional make your business profile look like a business so the users the user is going to chat with you he wants to talk with you so this is a uh, you know everything about the face facebook pixel with WhatsApp uh, widget for WordPress, uh, you know, very easy to set up, very easy to do, but, you know, remember, you need to have the Facebook pixel in your website, you need to set up the plugin to track those hits, that's it. If you do that, you will know who is clicking, you will, you can build an audience uh, based on that information, and you can send campaigns, retargeting, whatever, to the users who click on your widget. Okay? So, hope this makes sense. Hope this helps you. And, you know, we continue from there. Thank you.